The time has come. We're going to make the first whole chicken in the new Instant Pot Duo Crisp with the ultimate lid. Look at that chicken there. That's a little over five pounds. That's organic. We got some carrots, potatoes, and celery. And we're going to try to do it like this picture here, see? I don't know if it'll come out like that, but they got carrots, celery, and a couple of little potatoes down there. It doesn't have to look exactly like that, but... Anyway, the first time I did a chicken, nine years ago, I told you about it last night. We did it in the Cuisinart pressure cooker. It was 99 cents a pound, I remember, because I said it in the video. And today this was, how much a pound? 257. In nine years it went up that much. And this is organic, right? Organic whole chicken. 5.72 pounds. Almost six. Might be a tight squeeze. But it's going to shrink a little bit, right? Chicken is washed and dried, shooken out. Now there's seasonings here. You can put anything you want on here. You can put barbecue rub or anything you like. Salt and pepper or lemon or butter. I have garlic powder, oregano, and thyme. Because that's what I have a lot of today. Thyme. But this is only going to take 20 minutes. And I'm going to crisp it at the end. I hope it comes out good. It's the first time I'm doing this. We did it in Ninja Foodie. But like I said, that has the separate lid. You know all about that. I know they have a new one, whatever. But this, I like. This new Instant Pot. Okay, come up while I put this in. And check it out. And Kathy tied up the legs for me because sometimes I make a mess with that. I should have showed you that, but you know how to just tie up the legs if you want to. Okay, I'm going to keep my hands clean. One of them anyway. I'm going to season the bottom. So I'm going to use this hand and season the bottom with my three seasonings. And then when I put it in there, I'll season the top after I wash my hands. Okay. We got garlic powder. Whoa, that's not too much. Make it how you like it. Too much time on my hands. Too much time on my <laughs> That's just the bottom. And some oregano, just for fun. Shake it up. Put it in. Oh, you fit right in that little bed. That's beautiful. And on top of the oregano. Then some garlic, not too much. Remember that comes out fast, but I like garlic. Maybe that burn up nicely at the end. And Time is on my chicken. Yes, it is. Close the lid, push the button. No, we're going to put the vegetables in. Let me wash my hands off with soap and water. Okay, I washed long enough. But I cut out all the water noise, so maybe it seems quick. Take two cups of water or broth if you like, but at the end we're going to have broth. Pour it down the side. You need two cups of water to build up pressure in a pressure cooker. And arrange your vegetables however you like them. See, they only had a few in there. We could put more in, but we could, couldn't we? This is more for flavor. All these flavors are going to pressurize and infuse into the bird because today the bird is the bird we could put more we could put a lot more you know we could have stuffed it but I'm gonna make it picturesque a little salt and pepper so nobody screams look we're almost done that's all you gotta do the other thing you gotta do is remember how it looks now Beautiful. We have our pressure lid in here. Oh, last night we did a pressure test with water just to see how this different pressure release works because there's no button on top. Remember I showed you? Watch, let me close this. You know, you usually set your mode up here, ceiling or not ceiling or pressure release. It does it automatically. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go pressure cook. Oh, slide, the, we gotta lock the lid. Good. And we're gonna go for 20 minutes. I know because I did it many times. And then pressure here, you say, you can do pulse release, which I tried that too. Well, well I want to go quick release. Okay. You got quick release, natural, 
pulse, it goes every 16 seconds, it'll go pss, pss, <laughs> and it was like five minutes till it let it out. But I want to go quick release. So you can see, and it says it's whisper quiet too. All right, we're going to start preheating. Okay. Now we did a test with water, like I said, and this will be preheating. It'll blink, blink, blink. When it goes up to cooking, it starts the pressure mode. And then when it's like one minute, I'll turn it back on and I'll let you see how it releases the pressure. It's so amazing. It's not whisper quiet. You know, I'll whisper while it's happening if I remember. You know, you can whisper pretty quiet, you know. But compared to the other ones, it sound like a train. This is pretty cool. And you don't have to come over here and go with your hand, you know. It does it by itself. Time's up, it just blows out. So I hope you're not leaning there talking to your friend when it happens, you know. Don't do that, because these things get hot. Although the outside is ceramic coated, and all our other ones are metal, it's like a, it's not hard ceramic, like a plate. It's like kind of sprayed on, I guess. And it doesn't get as hot. I felt it when we were testing it last night. It's really cool in advance. And then we're gonna brown it at the end, remember? That's the extra fun part. We're gonna remove the pressure lid inside, you'll see, just that insert, and put it on brown. Back in a couple minutes. All right, I have two minutes left, but I just also wanted to show you that you can turn off the sound by holding down temperature and time buttons. See that speaker up there? There. Watch, five seconds. Now the sound is off and it won't beep, in case you wanna cook something and not wake me up. But I'm gonna turn it back on. Hold the time and temp button. Five seconds. One minute left. Where do you see it released by itself? Remember, no valve up here? Whisper quiet. Are you gonna hear it? Mm -hmm. Any second now. Watch, quick release. What? See that? Release by itself. Now is that whisper quiet? No, but it's a little muffled compared to the other ones that are full blast. You know, they blow paint off the wall sometimes. <laughs> mm -mm, I wish you could smell it. That's the next feature. Smell a phone. Ain't no smell of vision, but I'll send you a smell mail. Alright, I'll text the smell to you. Do not open lid. It'll tell you when. And then it's going to go into a keep warm mode. So if you're not home, it's going to stay warm for quite a while. Watch. That's whisper quiet right there. Mmm, I smell chicken. Oh. Not open lid. It's safe. See how safe it is? It's okay to open a lid. Now you slide this unlock over and push that and there's our beautiful chicken. Yeah, we could have put a lot more vegetables, they would have shrunk down and been all right. But the main thing is about the chicken right now, it's beautiful. I'm going to remove this pressure cooker insert, push this red button and grab that ring. <laughs> See, it's clean up there. It's clean and dry from all the pressure, so that's good. I know you were wondering how it's gonna be to clean stuff like this, but so far, we just clean this pressure cooker insert like we normally do. Now I'll spray a little bit with some Grillmaster spray, just to help the crispiness. You know I like it crispy, and I usually stop it too soon. But today I'm gonna to try to make it as crispy as I can. Want to take the temperature of this to start with? What do you want? 160, right? 165? Mm -hmm. What? 65? Well, we're not done cooking it yet, but I just want to see where it comes out. 55? I think, what's the real temperature? 160? 165. Well, that's only 10, 10 away. Mm hmm. But maybe. It's going to cook while it's air yeah. frying. 67, okay. I'd eat it right now. But I want some crispy skin. Let's, let's go here. Close the lid. Lock? I don't know if we need lock for air fry. I'm gonna find out. It's gonna tell me if I do something wrong. Air fry or broil, but I'm gonna go air fry. I'm gonna go 10 minutes. Time. Right. 
start. I guess I don't have to lock the lid. No, because we're not under pressure. Okay. And then we can look at it in between, I think, because I didn't lock it, right? Mm -hmm. Let's, peek. let's peek. see. Peek. Okay. Okay. Continue. Sorry. So when you put it in lock, that's for sealing in pressure. 400 for 10 minutes. Oh, boy, it's going to be good. All right, we'll check it in five, right? How's that sound? That's five minutes. Let's look at it. Ooh. What do you think? I think I know. I always want it darker. I'm going to go the rest of the 10 minutes. Okay, I hear you bleeping. I didn't forget. See, five minutes are enough. Well, that'll be 10 all together. In this mode, it counts down seconds, which I like. And halfway through, after I closed it, after the five minutes, it said, turn food. Like if you had something in there you wanted to flip over. Well, here we go. We're going to look at it now. And let's see. I'll be the judge of that. Now it goes into a cool down mode with the fan. If I didn't open the lid. Ah, oh, more. I think I need more yet. Like I said, I always stop it too early and I always say I want it browner so I'm gonna brown it some more plus you might want to take the temperature again do you mm -hmm. where's that thermometer oh I like that I do but anyway I'm going another 10 minutes I'm gonna look at it in five because that's how I want it that's what I want to do because I like crispy chicken I'd eat a whole chicken skin pie if you made me one Air fry. Ten minutes. Thank you. Try it again. It remembers where I was last time. That's a smart mode. Show you again in five. One thing I want to do, I just thought of. I want to spin this rack a little bit. See? You know what I mean? So, no, change it up a little bit. Right? Oh, boy, look at it, though. Oh! <laughs> All right, that's another five minutes. Oh, it's getting there. <laughs> I still might go the other five. <laughs> yeah. I'm almost there. Look how cool this is. See? It's kind of hot, but it doesn't burn. It's okay. It's even cooler down here. All right, here we go. That's enough? Oh, that's pretty nice. What do you think? Hmm? Mm. Yes? Looks great. I think so. Say ah! Oh. Crunch. Oh, 187 all the way down. 85, 83. That's good. We're going to let it rest on the plate anyway, a little bit. Come on, little chicken! I should bring my plate over here, shouldn't I? I don't carry it across the room. How's that sound? Beautiful! Ah! Oh. Ho ho! There's some vegetables! And the chicken broth. It's like soup. Hey, ladle! Do I want to juice my skin? I want it crunchy. Don't I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now remember, we really could have put a lot more vegetables in here, but this is my first time doing this in this pressure cooker. Mmm. These are for decoration today. I'm going to eat them too. And there's a lot of broth in here. See the broth? Lovely. Air fryer broth. Oh, nice. Isn't that beautiful? I know it was dark over there, but here you can see it. I'm going to let it rest for 10 minutes. Remember, you can make this any way you like. You can skip the vegetables. You can just make this chicken like this with barbecue sauce. 
Make some chicken sandwiches. I'd like a leg, but I want some of that skin. All right, I'm gonna let it rest for 10 minutes. Oh, and you can put an onion in there if you want. Or a hot pepper, whatever you like. Nice, see, it's clean up there. But you think they would have some kind of screen like some of them do, but that's okay, it's clean. And I heard some sizzling going on. Thank you very much. Beep beep. Has it been 10 minutes yet? off yet? Huh? 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 Anticipation. You got chicken scissors? <laughs> oh. Tied that like a boy scout. Don't eat the string. Oh, I bet it's good though, huh? Mmm, it's crunchy. Not supposed to eat the string? Hmm? No. It's crunchy though. Has seasoning on it. I want one of your legs. Mmm, that string tastes good, that seasoning. Okay. It's been about 11 minutes. Do I need a plate? I got a plate. Let me taste one of these first. <laughs> that was a raw carrot. Mm. That has the flavors in it too. I'd like to get a leg, but I usually mess it up. See, so, there's a special way to hack them. I ruined it. It's too tender. It's falling off the bone. See? I always do that. Give me some of that crunchy meat. Skin. Do it like a gentleman. I really want some of the skin. You like it without skin, right? So you don't mind if I eat some of the skin, right? Just no. some skin? Hmm? Because no. that was the best part. That's why I wanted to make it browner. It's really good. We'll make some more vegetables. Or we'll just eat it like this because we like to pick out a chicken once in a while. Look at this meat coming off of here. Mm. Try this in your pressure cooker, whatever kind you have. If you have one of these kind with the browning lid. What do you call it? Duo crisp? Yeah. There's a link down there. You can get yourself one. Mm. It's so moist and delicious. We're going to have some, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See you later. We're going to finish it. Come on over here. Grab yourself a plate. I'll hack you some more off. I'm going to be good sandwiches, too.